Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 51 of Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, after much saving and resetting, I have a second set of Mithril clothes. I'm trying to remember who I gave it to. It's probably Yolio. Yeah, it was him. Alright. Good. Now let's go to the Endless Wall. And this time we're actually going to complete that area. Do I have to go this way? Let's see what's on the main route. There is a door or a gate. But it's shut. So obviously we have to take that detour to the left. I do see a chest over there. I wonder how I'm going to get it. Well, in the meantime, let's not worry about it yet. Oh, this music's still so creepy every time. But I feel like we're on the cusp of, what, the end of the main story. And yes, there is post-game content, of course, same as there was in The Lost Age. Well, I mean, technically, the, uh, bonus content in The Lost Age, you could have easily done... Oh. That was a bad idea. I'm guessing... Oh, right, now it makes sense. Like, the stuff you could do in the Lost Age, you could have easily done once you go through the Mars Lighthouse and then just left? Because that, that's what I did. Once I took care of Dullahan, then I went back to the Mars Lighthouse to actually finish the place. I think that was just a particular synergy I needed in order to make it to that end. That, that was a pretty interesting way to go about it. Alright, so we're actually going this way. Can I go down? I can. Good. And I want to drop from this way. Ooh, a lucky pepper. It's always good to get some luck. Here you go. I don't know if luck actually does affect the rate of those rare item drops. If it does, then maybe I should have been giving them all to Matthew to begin with. Because I usually have them in the main party anyway. And anytime I can get some rare drops, whether it's forgeable material or even equipment, that would be dope. Because it's usually some of the best stuff. Is there anything special going down this way? Oh, there's a tablet over here. I can't open the gate from the other side, apparently. Light the signal fire to send smoke to the heavens. Yeah, we already know how that works. Am I supposed to shoot a fireball into this? No, obviously I'm supposed to use thermal. But I'm just trying to figure out like how I would actually go about it. Just the way is, way is normal, even though I could just get into that. All right, I'll use thermal. But what happens if I go up the stairs? Oh, those stairs are actually broken. Go back down if you want to, but obviously, why would I do that? There was nothing of value to me down those stairs anyway. Yeah, it looks like we're on the very top of the wall. Death Scuttler. All right, you want to fight? It's too bad we're uh, all stoked and ready to go. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if almost all of Matthew's attacks are on leashes. That's gonna make him, like, way too powerful. That's gonna make it harder for all our enemies to survive. Yay, level 44, level 41. The Excalibur does look really cool on Tyrell. Ye whose goal is the light, 
Show to me the three treasures, so that I may see them with my own eyes. There you go. That's the three orbs. And that should open the way. Wait, do we still keep the orbs? Or are they gone from our inventory? Yeah, we still have them. Honestly, I was kind of hoping that I didn't have them anymore. Because then I can just, like, free up some inventory space. But apparently that ain't happening. Yet. If at all. The best unleashes are the ones that actually target more than one enemy. Oh, condemn. Yeah, unaffected. Tyrell is just following suit. Good. I think I might have to get rid of those skulls first if they're capable of insta-kill. Yeah, let's just get rid of them now. All right, Karis got that sword completely mastered. Ooh, there's a new enemy. That's a Fenrir. Uh, test this out. Is this guy weak against fire? I'd imagine he would be, because, you know, Fenrir was like an ice wolf in some mythology. In, like JRPGs. Yeah, it is fire. Alright. I'll have everybody else defend. Tyrell, can I count on you on using a Ginny to finish the fin rear off? Much appreciated. I think this guy has a rare drop, too. It's not dead? Alright, try another one. You have lava. And you can tell you got a, a gin kill on an enemy. Is that when they die, they start flashing colors? Observe. Yeah, there was like a flash of different colors there. And of course, the experience drop, I think, is better. Karis, top is up. We need the health. Oh, God. Now I don't even know which way to go on the wall. Definitely not that way. And the avoid was pretty much useless. Oh, the joys of holding the A button to make these attacks go smoother. Alright, looks like we're going upper left. This is a really nice view, too. Oh man, that was a lot of enemies we gotta fight. You have to be any good. Try Supernova, I guess. I think that'd be a wise choice. Ooh, Ice Missile does a lot of damage. I'll go to Supernova on them. We only killed one enemy out of the whole bunch. That's hilarious. Did that killed a Fenrir too? No, it didn't even hit it. I thought it would. 
if they're just too far away from each other. That cannot kill the thin rear, really? I guess its HP must be pretty good. I'm just holding out hope that I'll actually get the drop from them. I'm getting good experience, and I didn't get it. I tried. Like, the drop rate for those specific pieces of equipment or items is way too low. I probably would not be bothered to try to do that so much. I think I gotta go here. There's the Apollo Ascent. So this must be the way to the Sanctum. Alright, the end is pretty much in sight. Oh, it turns out you could actually sell that treasure note that you got from Kusung and Kuambra. I did that just to free up the inventory space. But I'm not sure if you actually have to keep the item at all times to even get into that ship. I guess we'll find out after we're done here. Yeah, I think I need to crush this too. There's a statue head. Matthew touched the statue's forehead. Oh, the gem was pretty much a switch. Now I can get to the other side of that. More death scuttlers, huh? Guess they just had to scuttle on to hell. That's actually a pretty cool Unleash to steal Synergy as well. You think that's good? Wait till we get more Unleashes for Excalibur. Too bad I only had one or a Halcon though. That would have been so great to have more than one. And try to get like say a Herculean Axe too. That would also would be a very good weapon. Mithril Silver! Don't mind if I do. I'll have to work with that after I uh, finish up here as well. Okay, I gotta make it to the left in order to break that block. go and finish that guy up too no okay hit it with fever and I think amity you can join in as well so I bet that friend rare will take two hits depending on what amity does. That wasn't a kill. Good. That was. Man, this guy is not giving it up. A void was even active? I didn't even know. Because it was doing jack squat for me. Oh, here's a new enemy. It's a Fury Demon. Alright, let's dance. Yeah, it's definitely not Earth uh, the Fury Demon's weak against. Is it wind? Well, guess we'll never know because it's dead. Honestly, Mithril Clothes and the uh, Ninja Sandals, totally nasty combination.
Why am I not assigning Crush to a shortcut? In fact, I might as well, because I'm sure there's like more of this I gotta break. What am I doing? I can just do this. God, the encounter rate here actually is abnormally high. Okay, Fury Demon is weak against Wind. Now I have our answer. Was that a finisher? That's lame. Oh well, it is what it is. going. You know, not very far, but we'll keep going nonetheless. I do find it weird that even though Tyrell has like a low amount of max PP, that he has moves that have the most cost. That makes little to no sense. I guess, you know, if he had the highest amount of PP, it would be broken even more. Yeah, he's down. <laughs> we put down old Yeller with the three heads. Okay, that looks like we're in a pretty big section. Again, I can't get over how epic this music is. Can I crush that from down here, or do I have to be on the bottom section? Yeah, it just goes right over it. I can't reach? Really? Let me try that again. I won't reach. Can I use grip from here? No. Maybe I did things in the wrong order, yeah. I need to crush this first. Alright, you got me, game. Surely I can crush this. No? Okay, what if I stand here? Come on, it was just like one like inch. There's treasure in there. Good, that's what I want. Okay, I see what I gotta do. I have to move this again. Do what I did before, and then I can make it through. Maybe I should heal first. Yeah, that was a good idea. Do that. Right, now let's plan how I'm gonna get to that chest. Oh, there was no no real rhyme or reason to it. Just walk over there. Aeolian Cassock. Ooh, what's this? Boost, wind power, and resist. Uh, I'm thinking the Aeolian Cassock would be better for Karis than uh, Mysterious Rogue. It offers more defense, but I still think that's better. Um. Magical Cassock. I'm giving up on Hingy. Just for his PP. 
Oh, that's it. Okay, you know what? I made the right decision. There, now Karis' wind spells will be even stronger than before. this too. I saw the cracks. Oh, nothing. Alright. Just wanted to see if there was treasure. Never want to leave anything behind for obvious reasons. Seems like I shouldn't be able to grip that, but it looks like I can. Indeed I can. Good. Um, go left, maybe? Nothing. Just a bunch of furry demons. Not furry demons, that's not fur. That's a ball and chain. I mean, if you're into that sort of thing, be my guest. Just don't scuff the floor. There's Demon Eye. Oh, evil spirits. Oh, this sucks. Alright, Karis, this is your chance to possibly get, like, a lot going. The rest of us will just have to defend. I'll let Karis get those kills with uh, Jin. Man, those fairy demons been able to get a lot off on us. Might have to get Reef out to dispel all that. Man, I killed two of them the same way. Karis learned Tempest. A Gloria Helm! Holy crap! I hope that's a really good piece of equipment. Ooh, I gotta take a look at it. Oh, it's right on Karis. Gloria Helm! Renew his HP. Karis herself can't equip it. Ooh. It's a lot better than what other things we got. Okay. We're choosing an item to replace. There we go. Take the weasel's claw. That's a fair trade, right? <laughs> okay, boost earth power and criticals. Ooh, that's a hard sell. I think I'll just give that to someone else. There you go, Tyrell. It's yours. I think this was the better decision. Offers more defense, and I get more HP out of it. Even though the criticals will get less powerful, I think we can make do. Also, I think this is a good time to, um... put Reef in for this very reason. Because at least he has a uh, Ginny that can get rid of this. Oh. You can't do that way? Hold on. Seems to be able to Oh. I'm supposed to go in this direction. And I can just walk on that. It didn't seem like I could. Can I crush this from here? No. But I think I need to break that and then climb up there. Okay, this one's a slight maze. 
Oh yeah, I took Karis out. Uh, what's the one again? Dewdrop. There we go. Right, get rid of them damn evil spirits for me. Whew! I thought we were all gonna be, like, haunted again. That would have been so stupid if that worked. Right, this is the only way we can go. Can't hop across that, why not? Seemed like a good enough gap for it. Weird. It's not the forehead, but close enough, I guess. Okay, I don't know, no, no, drop it on here. I see what I gotta do. I gotta pull this guy's finger. Should have just made like a fart noise when I did that. <laughs> Now I'm up here, and this looks very ominous. Look at the top screen. It's shaped like a skull. Let me just hit growth over here to patch that up. Um, what's the significance of this place? The path of light may not be trod without mourning those who passed in the shadow. Observe the rites thusly. First, bring fire to the deceased eyes, then cleanse the forehead with a drop of water. Next, blow a cool breeze across the nose, and finally, walk the path described by the scent of morning incense. Okay, so I gotta do fire first, then water, then wind, and it looks like follow a scent? Okay, that should be pretty easy to figure out. And obviously I have to do that in their specific order. Is this how I'm gonna get up there? Going this way? Yeah, it is. Alright. Okay, that's sorted. There's a torch over here. We have to light that up. And then we have to go to the forehead. Apply some head-on on it. Remember that commercial of head-on applied directly to the forehead? They had to make some jokes about it and stuff. Funny I don't have to be at the exact same height to use douse. Right, now I gotta use whirlwind. Do I have a... I do. Some kind of aroma hangs heavy in the air. I think this is where I need Spetta for. Oh. Not slap. Slap myself off the platform and I fall and break my neck. Track. There we go. Looks like I have to follow it exactly. So if I just like walk straight ahead, that goes against the uh, what I need to do. Right, so don't move, otherwise you might walk in the wrong area. Reminds me of those castles in Super Mario Bros. 1, where you had to pick the right path, otherwise it repeats. I assume if I do this wrong, I will have to, like, redo a lot of this stuff again. Don't want to do that. There we go. We did it. Alright. Looks like we're in. The Apollo Sanctum. Thanks for the boost. We needed it. <laughs> Uh, 
that's a big gate. The gates to Apollo Sanctum will open for one who can align our emblems correctly. I have to align the emblems? Where are the emblems? Are they in here? You know what? It looks just like it. That looks like an emblem for Mars. And, well, I guess the best thing for me to do is actually save and stop here. Wow, I gained two levels since the last time I saved? That's ridiculous. Um, I don't know why it's telling me to find the rest of the Umbra gear if I already have it on. <sighs> Whatever, game. Next episode, we're going to go through the uh, Apollo Sanctum Gate. See everybody, thanks for watching.